Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to change a newborn's diaper. The first thing you wanna do is find a very safe, clean space. I use my changing table. Then opt for putting down a waterproof pad. This is a Chuck's changing pad that is super waterproof and makes it really easy because after every time I change my baby's diaper, if there's a spill, I don't have to change my changing pad cover, okay? So with all that said, I'm ready to change my baby's diaper. I have some wipes here and I have some diapers here ready to go. I'm going to unzip my baby's pajama first. Now a quick word on newborn reflexes. Newborns have funny reflexes. They tend to like stiffen up. And when they do this, you really can't do anything but wait because you have to wait until they loosen up and stretch out their limb. And at that point, you can take their clothes off, but you can't force it. So here I go. I've now taken off the legs of Bracey's pajama. I'm going to hold his feet together like this with my left hand. I'm right handed and I'm going to move the pajama up and back away from the diaper area. Same thing with Bracey's onesie. I'm unsnapping the onesie and I'm moving it back like this away from the diaper area. This means that if he pees and little boys tend to pee a lot, it's like zzz, I'm not gonna get wet. His whole outfit isn't gonna get wet and I won't have to change everything, which results in more laundry. So anyway, now I've got my wipes here ready to go and make sure you opt for something that's very sensitive when it comes to a newborn skin. Some people prefer to just use warm water and cotton balls or gauze during the early weeks and some doctors recommend that. So here I go. I'm gonna take my new diaper and I'm gonna put it underneath the old diaper. That is going to quicken the amount of time it's gonna take me to change my diaper. I'm gonna pull the new diaper up very, very high so that I can see the straps right here underneath. I unfasten the old diaper. If it's a big poopy diaper, a lot of people recommend just using the diaper itself to get out as much poop as you can by sort of going like this and moving in between the folds and wiping down, okay? So then I take my diaper and I begin to fold it up like this with my hands. I roll it. I fasten it like this, creating a little package, and that is gonna be what I discard. Some people recommend putting it in a Ziploc bag if you don't wanna end up with the stinky smell. Now, I have my wipe. I am going to clean my baby gently, okay? Babies do not like these wipes, especially when they're cold. I'm gonna go down from front to back and carefully clean within all the folds, whether I have a boy or a girl, front to back, front to back, front to back, making sure I get all the geeky stuff. My baby's now clean. I discard my wipe. If I have a boy, I point his penis downwards and I begin to attach my new diaper. I hold my hand on the diaper like this. I fasten the straps as high and as tight as I can. You wanna make sure your baby can breathe, but you want the diaper to be as high and tight as possible while making sure your baby's comfortable. And now my baby's diaper is changed and I am going to reattach his onesie. Good job, Bracey. Like this, snap, snap, snap. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm gonna put on his pajama again. I have to work with him because little babies tend to have these funny reflexes. So when they stiffen up, you wanna make sure not to force them. You just have to wait for them to feel comfortable loosening up their limbs so that you can put back on their clothes. There goes one leg, here comes the other. Boom, boom, boom. We did a really good job, Bracey. I'm zipping up Bracey. There we go. And my baby is ready to go. Bye everybody and see you next time on Cloud Mom.